It is strange life, is it not? My father was born to serve, to be a soldier for a king. And serve he did, a royal guard with Philip II and then a companion with great Alexander. My father was wise and strong, so Alexander elevated him to one of his great commanders. And he was great. At the Battle of Hydaspes, he beat back elephants for Alexander to claim his victory. But what my father came to know was that he was born to Apollo, god of the sun. And those born to the gods are not born to serve. So when Alexander died, the duty of the gods became clear. Lead. Lead the sons of Greece, the sons of heroes in this foreign land claimed by the right of the gods and Alexander's conquest. And lead he did. With his friend Ptolemaeus, he beat back the cruel Antigonus. With him and his son defeated, my father was cheered into ancient Babylon to claim his birthright as a son of the gods, the throne of Babylonia. That Cyclops Antigonus, befell by his pride and ambition, could not let my father rest. But Seleucus, my father, was cunning. Hailed by the Easterners as their king, his deal with Chandragupta, the lord of India, to give them tracts of useless desert for 500 war elephants was nothing short of divine inspiration. These elephants were crucial to crushing Antigonus at Ipsos and killing him once and for all. But the gods can play cruel tricks on the lives of men. And when Ptolemaeus died, my wise and cunning father became careless. He took in evil Karaunos, exiled by his brother Ptolemaeus II, out of love for his father. And how did Karaunos repay him? The very man who took him in when all else was lost to him. He conspired in cruelty to kill Seleucus. But Karaunos taught me a valuable lesson when he murdered my father. Do not trust the Ptolemies, and they think I have forgotten. But for now, there is peace. But one day, I will take my revenge and burn their precious cities to the ground. Let them feel the pain that I felt. For now, there are more important matters to see to. Rebellion is brewing in the east and west. Bithynia and Cappadocia have betrayed us to assert their independence. Ha! What right do they have to independence over a man that's blessed with God's blood? When I take their lands back and end their sad lives, I shall make sure the gods find a punishment so harsh that it makes Prometheus himself look like he's living in peace and bliss. The unwashed Celts, too, have to be driven out of rightful Greek land. It is an affront to have unwashed barbarians at our gates. Let us see how they fare when elephants have the wrath upon them. But the loss of our southern lands to the Ptolemies is the greatest slight of them all. But for now, our uneasy peace must stand, lest we both destroy ourselves in the fight. But do not worry. When the time is right, we will strike them down and retake those lands as ours. And if we do all this, we become the true heirs to Alexander. The true sword of the gods, blessed by Apollo and Zeus themselves. And our dynasty, the line of Apollo, will be cemented in these lands for a thousand years. Oh gods, I just hope you deem me worthy. <laughs>